Well, it's a treat to be out in Englewood on a fall day. This place is really just a treasure trove of, of artifacts. It's a really interesting area to walk. Englewood opened in the early 1950s and it closed in the spring of 1967. So it had you know, a relatively short run as a ski area. By Midwestern terms, by Wisconsin terms, it was a big area and when you walk these grounds, you really get the sense for how big it was. They had some great terrain to work with, uh, just the scope of it and then the, the challenge of it. Coming off some of those ridges, um, some really good pitches. One of the great things about doing this project is getting access to public lands, to private lands that are opened up to us. And, and here at Inglewood, this is privately controlled land, but it's open to the public. Uh, so this is something that anyone can walk. That has really been a pleasure to explore and to have that sort of access to it and try and piece together the history of it. It had competition in the area, of course, Trollhagen to the north, uh, Ski Mac to the south, which became Snowcrest eventually. Um, so that was probably another reason that it eventually closes because it did have that competition nearby. Which is kind of a shame because it really, it's obvious walking this area that it was an interesting place to ski.